Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to the show, Heroes of Karbala, with me, your host, Musa Ali. And today we'll be looking upon the life of Ali Akbar alayhi salam. First and foremost, we send our deepest and most sincere condolences to the Ahl al-Bayt salam, and especially the Imam of, of our time, um, Imam Mahdi Ajallah Farjah Sharif. May Allah hasten his reappearance during this heartbreaking month where the holiest blood was shed and the greatest women were held and taken captive. On the day of Ashura, many holy members of the Ahl al-Bayt were martyred in the cruelest ways possible, all because they remained with the truth and refused to stand by and watch the Imam of that time, which was Imam Hussein salam, fight alone to protect the holy message of his grandfather. These inspiring individuals, whether it was Imam Hussein's companions or his household, fought valiantly alongside with the Imam Hussein alayhi salam and remain as a symbol for the world in, it, in its entirety to learn from. One of these individuals who is, in, who is Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam remained and will still remain as an inspiration for the whole world. With, and he is Imam Hussein's eldest son who gave up his holy life for the sake of religion of Islam. Now before discussing the life of Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam and what he did to leave such a great impact on the world, one must realize and analyze the importance of a source of inspiration in one's life. If one were to view this from a scientific point, it would become clear that humans were created in a manner where psychologically the, the presence of a role model in everyday life is, is essential in, one, in one's development. Through mimicking the traits and attributes in a selected role model, this will have a large impact on decision making, happiness and thinking process, hence having an overall impact on the outcome of one's life. The reason behind this impact on an individual's life is because role models symbolize perfection and inspiration, which means that one will use this, use this inspiring figure as a blueprint to follow in terms of thinking, deciding, and behaving. In today's society, many role models exist, positive and negative, dead and alive. It was mentioned that earlier Humans learn through modeling others, and a large portion of this process takes place through the adolescent years. At this important stage, a teenager is changing dramatically in many ways, meaning that they are ultimately attempting to reach their goals, find reasoning behind their existence, and reach a conclusion as to what their purpose in this world might be. In order for these questions to be answered correctly, an adolescent must have a positive role model to follow. This is where the presence of the members of Ahl al-Bayt come in. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala crea created such role models not only to enlighten minds with their moral excellence, but to also spread the perfections and attributes of the, teaching of, of the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Being a member of this holy family, Ali al-Akbar possessed and portrayed many attributes for them not to only inspire, being a member of this holy family, Ali al-Akbar possessed and portrayed many attributes that not only inspires a young adolescent, but persuades them to follow and mimic the beautiful traits of this young warrior. If one were, if one were to analyze the life of, of Ali al-Akbar even before we look at his courageous stand alongside his father, Hussein we witness many examples of positive virtues and traits throughout his holy life that would inspire us to follow this amazing individual. A few of these positive traits and virtues include his extraordinary significant resemblance to the Prophet peace be upon him, not only in appearance but also in a manner and in attributes. And his commitment to serving all of what he has for the sake of religion of Islam. It has been narrated through numerous hadiths as well as many narrations that out of all the members of Ahl al-Bayt Ali al-Akbar was the one that resembled the Prophet peace be upon him the most. These hadiths and narrations about Ali's resemblance are seen to be said throughout his childhood as well as many occasions on the day of Karbala. It has been narrated that during 
the life of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, when Ali al-Akbar was still young, a Christian entered into Medina declaring his wish to enter into the religion of Islam, but on the hands of the Prophet, peace be upon him. When asked why he wanted to enter the, the religion of Islam, and especially on the hands of the Prophet, he told them that he had seen a dream where he has entered the religion of Islam and on the hands of the Prophet. Knowing that the Prophet no longer alive, the, the people of Medina took him to, to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And there, and there, the man declared his entering to Islam. After all this had happened, Imam Hussein alayhi salam told the Christian man that had converted into Islam, if you want to see a person that has resembled the Prophet in terms of characteristics. The man very eager, wanting to know who this person was, Imam Hussain called in his son Ali al-Akbar. Upon entering, the man witnessed that the, that the child who had entered the room had something covering his face. When the child who was Ali al-Akbar lifted the veil off his face, the man who had converted into Islam fainted because of the beauty that Ali al-Akbar possessed. Upon awakening, the man simply starred and swore that the child that he had just seen resembled the Prophet whom, who he had seen in his dream perfectly except in the form of a child. This is an example of the terms of Ali's resemblance to the Prophet peace be upon him with regards to his physical appearance as for the rest of his holy qualities. On the day of Ashura, when Ali al-Akbar asked for permission to go to the battlefield, Imam Hussein at that time became very worried for the sake of Ali al-Akbar Being the first to go to the battlefield of the members of Ahl al-Bayt Ali was the one who all of the members of, ah of the Ahl al-Bayt present on the day of Ashura feared his death. To them, Ali was not just simply Imam Hussein's eldest son, but he played a major role in their life as many of them present on the day of Ashura said that whenever we wanted to feel comfort and peace, they would look at Ali al-Akbar When Ali al-Akbar received the permission from his father to go down in battle, Imam Hussain raised his hands towards the sky and said, O oh Allah, bear witness that the person who had emerged in front of them is the lookalike of your Prophet in terms of characteristics and manner. Hence, we look at him whenever we miss your Prophet. As for Ali's resemblance to the Prophet in terms of attributes and eloquence, it has been narrated that Ali inherited much of his traits and virtues. Before going to Karbala, when he was still in Medina, Ali used to teach and spread the, the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his father, Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And whoever would witness him doing this would swear that they felt as if the Prophet was present right there before their eyes. Now one might ask as to how the resemblance of Ali al-Akbar alayhi salam would make him a great role model to follow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Prophet in a manner where he spread his holy message while still communicating with communities he lived with. A Prophet Muhammad sallallahu acted as the helping head that would lead onto the proper path, especially during the time where the majority lived in need and despair. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was meritorious towards everyone, even the ones who agonized him and hurt him. Through his moralistic and laudable decisions and actions, he revealed the admirable lesson of never losing hope in the Ahl Bayt or in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to see and seek their light of guidance, and even if one were to be in the darkest of places. By inheriting these beautiful qualities, Ali truly deserves to be known one of the greatest examples of role models, especially to the youth living in today's time where not many young positive role models exist. The term committed is often associated with an individual who is willing to sacrifice and give up time, energy, and wealth for a certain cause. This individual does not have any concerns for oneself and are motivated to carry out the proper decision even if that meant their life were to be on the line. This particular trait is witnessed on witnessing the holy figure of Ali al-Akbar and is seen on the day of Ashura. After all of Imam Hussain's salam, companions battled and were killed one after another, it was time for the household of Imam Hussain salam, to step in. Before anyone else, 
Ali came to his father first and asked for permission to step forward and fight, fight against the enemies. Regardless of his young age, this did not have an impact on Ali's decisions and his commitment towards defending the religion of Islam. Allah's message and his father, Imam Hussein, was far more important than anything else at that time. We also witness this holy figure's commitment on the way to Karbala when Ali heard his father say, indeed we belong to Allah and indeed we shall return to him and thanks to God. Imam Hussain repeated this three times. And this raised Ali's curiosity as to why his father had just said that. Ali asked, if, Ali asked his father as to why he was repeating this three times and what was the significance of what he just said. Imam Hussein replied that he heard a caller from the sky saying, the caravan moves and their death moves with them. And Imam Hussain knew that this, one meant, this was meant for them. Ali then asked his father, are we not supporting the truth? Then Imam Hussein replied, Yes, I swear by the whom we shall return to, we are. At this moment, we witness Ali's beautiful words that reveals commitment towards defending the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he said, O oh Father, it makes no difference if death comes to us or we approach death as long as we are right. This example of Ali's commitment not only had a significant impact during that, that very time, but it should also have a greater impact on individuals in today's time, especially the youth in today's world. We often face situations where fighting for the truth and defending what is right may not necessarily call for one's life, but it does call for risking things that may be important to, to some individuals. At moments like this, we witness that many people tend to back down and not stand by the truth. And in today's society, that has become, that has become a major issue. The reason behind this issue of not standing by what is right and having almost no commitment towards one faith is mainly because of the types of role models that exist in today's time. Many people in today's society follow individuals who teach nothing but the importance of physical appearance, social status, and basically materialistic objects that only offer a limited amount of pleasure with little to no benefit. This is actually very unfortunate because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent specific individuals and created perfect examples for people to follow to serve the role, to serve the role as inspirations and role models. These individuals who, who are the Prophet and Ahl Bayt were created perfect and pure so that they manifest Allah's holy teaching and inspire the countless generations that come to exist. In addition to the members of Ahl Bayt Allah also set perfect examples of positive role models from their, from their households. Examples like Ayyul Akbar who has a remarkable character with various, with various and diverse qualities truly deserves to be labeled as a positive role model and he has left behind a powerful legacy that inspires and is rem remembered and commemorated by generations after generations. Thank you respected viewers for tuning in. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.